Good afternoon. Now, another little video. We are the 27th of July. Uh, and we're still in this uh, area here, which I called the Priority Paddock. As in, this is the place that I have my eye on. Uh, and as soon as it's ready, I pull the handbrake from wherever I am on the farm and I come back here to graze it off. So I've moved them in here now. The last day I said they'd be here, 12, 12, 12 and 12, two days. But it's turning out that they're probably in each little area for over 12 hours, nearly 20 hours. So they're still here and we're, what day are we now? Is it Tuesday? Tuesday and I'm only about to open up a gap here and left them and let them into that lower spot there um, now let me just show you what they left behind now it's all different sizes you can see they grazed it down fairly tight here um, they ate that spratty stuff off so my plan worked you can see a few rushes there as well it um, and then there's some areas then that they lay on and trample down and then there's some areas that they literally just took the tips of it and there's something like let me see a foot of grass left in some places so normally now I don't top more than once a year and I let this grow up but the rushes are fairly strong now in this area I might go topping this I might I won't say whether I am or not the next video I'll say it I'll have decided but it's just, this would be the only area where I would top more than once a year because they grow mad here and we're now what July August September October so if I top these here now I might be able to uh, not might be able to they will have grown back before I get back here in October so as I say I like to keep them tall rushes <coughs> for uh, for uh, shelter so the kettle are here now it's just after one o'clock um, I'm gonna open up the gap uh, let me see if I the fence off the fence is off yeah so I'm gonna open up the gap and let them down here so um, yeah, so you can see what they've ate here now in the last. When did I leave this in? These are in here maybe 20 hours now. Um, now they've done a lot of trampling in here now, more so than in there. Um, when they sleep in an area, you can see a lot of that, uh, the little beds that they make. So they have a lot of trampling down here and that trampling to me now is a kind of uh, almost a reincarnation so we had living grass there that's now been laid down on slept on and shat on so basically in two months time that will have reincarnated back up into lovely lush grass again so uh, yeah we can have reincarnation with the old uh, regenerative agriculture so there's another bed there now where they were lying uh, they lay there a couple of times and a calf was lying there as well so a calf and his mother another bed there they've grazed tight here they avoided that there that's old dung and they trampled down left this kind of long so yeah all different heights there's a lovely dung there now that is exactly what you want about three inches high and a nice little depression there in the middle so the dung is perfect the grazing is perfect so I think now it's time to let them into uh, a bit of fresh grass so if I could do this one-handed now it would be great so I'm gonna chance it there's another thing that as well is uh, cattle docility quiet cattle you do not need them wild tours around you they do not notice me at all I know I spend a lot of time with them they get to know you but when strangers see them you don't want them to run away in strangers either 
But they're all lying there content now chewing their cud. I almost feel bad opening up the gap and letting them getting them up out of there. It's a relaxation. Let's go look what we'll do it. So um hang on now. This is an old drain, you can see how dry it is now. This drain is all completely dried up. If I could do this one handed now it would be brilliant. Mm, now I give this a good old wrap in the last day. That's off. Ravel that there a few times. No, that worked out great. Right, girls, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Very good. Now, so what I have here now is I have a back fence there. So they can't go back in on where they were uh, yesterday and two days ago. Um, there's the fence there. They can't obviously go in there. And um, this fence in the middle now I'm going to leave open. I'm going to take this down. And they have their lane across the top there and down into the river. So they can still drink. So they won't hang around there much. Well, they probably will, might lie there this evening and sleep. But they're going to be in here now until this time tomorrow. So it's kind of 24 hours. It's working out there uh, and getting more or longer out of uh, my moves. I was saying every 12 hours, but it's working out around every 20 or 24 hours. So we've lots of nice, nice, long, lush grass in here now. So um, we'll see what kind of... Uh, trample and graze we get out of this area this was topped but in there was never topped that's a kind of a swampy place now with the fluke and the mud snails i'm more conscious about grazing in there will i graze i'll make that decision tomorrow and um, i've done a little bit more studying on them uh, mud snails and it turns out that we have a marsh fly living around here and the marsh fly is a predator to the uh, mud snail he's a strange looking fly he's kind of like a half house fly half mosquito look to him i don't know what it is he does to the mud snail but apparently he uh he messes them up so uh yeah that's good to know as well so that's them kept in check i think frogs also eat them small snails i've been doing a little bit of reading on that we have lots of snails here and we also have herons which eat frogs too so we've got a good old uh, cycle of wildlife going on here so i might I'm, I'm taking my chances at the minute so uh that's the story for now they're just in here now they'll be here for 20 hours and i'll make another video now when i move them on they're going to be coming home very soon uh, to the clover we'll show you that then as well um a bit of a two mile cattle drive up the road they've done it many times before so it's never usually caused me a problem so hopefully it won't this time so that's the story for now i'm going to sign off and uh post this probably later on and we'll we'll chat to you all again very soon so thanks to all the new subscribers actually as well and uh if you like these videos give us an old like and uh that's it. So for now, we'll say good luck and goodbye.